This is day three of Stella's two-week board and train. She's warming up with the follow exercise and also sit. I'm asking her to sit with just a verbal, and now I gave her a hand signal to help with communication. When beginning e-collar training, sometimes you'll see a dog scratching with their hind leg, or you may see them shaking their head from side to side. This is called the recognition level. The recognition level behavior disappears over a very short period of time. The goal is to use the least amount of static stimulation to override the distractions in the environment in order to gain focus to complete the task at hand. Please. Stella, please. Over the two weeks, I'm working on distance, duration, and distractions with Stella. I'm using my body as a distraction in order to help Stella increase her duration on the board. Please. We've moved out of the yard into the forest to raise the distraction bar with the follow, sit, and free commands. Note how her nose drops down. This creates tension on the leash. The distraction is overriding the task at hand, which is the follow command. It is during these distraction events that you'll need to dial up on the remote. I'm running instead of walking to raise the energy level to create the jumping events. Replacing jumping with a sit command. A dog barking in the background increases the distraction event. Coming up, first time dragging six foot leash for recall.
Stella is dragging a ten-foot leash. Dogs start with a six-foot leash, and to add distance, a ten- or fifteen-foot leash is used. Before beginning recall training, Stella must feel comfortable with the leash wrapping around her body and objects such as her place board. I'm using the ball and her free command. The ball helps redirect her focus from the leash to a play activity. It is important that I don't intervene so she can problem solve and grow in this learning experience.